Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's Mobile Mechanics DPF Cleaning. We have another VW Crafter here. So just inside here, this is the one we're facing. Exhaust filter, sign, start it up. So we've got a flashing glow plug, engine management light. So let's switch it back off, run diagnostics. Get that loaded up there. P2463 particle filter, soda restriction. Okay, we'll just start the engine back up again there. He has had the AA out to this who've tried clearing all of this and resetting it. So I'm just going to let it run for a minute just to make sure there's no other codes. Um, maybe the AA has cleared a few other codes that might have been there. So we'll check that again in a moment. But for now, we're going to go and read the live data over here. Now I can see there's quite a long list on this. If you look at that little bar on the side there, where it goes down, it's quite a long list to go through. So we're going to find the DPF. It might take a few minutes. We need to find a DPF sensor um, readings, and then we'll click on those items. Okay, we'll hold it on. That's the maximum revs there. It's on two and a half thousand revs. We are looking at. Oh, it's just jumped up a bit. It was 380, 390 on the pressure sensor. 391. Sometimes it jumps up a bit if you hold the revs for a few minutes. It's jumping up slightly. So if we come down to the driver's side of the vehicle here, we have the DPF pressure sensor. And that is a T30 Torx bolt there. We'll open that up and disconnect the pressure hose. Okay, we've disconnected the pre DPF side here this is if you follow that holes down runs down along to the DPF just down there goes in there to the DPF just on top sorry there's a lot of tubes in the way just there so I've got a new bit of kit here today I'm gonna to use this for the first time got my new little Milwaukee compressor there that I can use portable it's very handy I never used to use these before because there wasn't really a portable compressor like this around I had to have a big massive one in the van and we've got some of this launch particle filter fluid here as well and if we look on the back of the booklet that comes with it this product is designed for use with the engine running so we're going to leave the engine running and spray the fluid in as the engine's running so we've got the gun there filled up with the fluid and now we will get this end of the tube it's got all of these little holes. Sorry, it's not. Let me just see if I can get that to focus. Okay, basically, it's got a lot of holes around the bottom there, and it sprays it all the way around. So, we're going to push this all the way down the tube here. So, just switch it on, get the pressure built up to the nine bar, and it's connected there to the gun on that side. Okay, we're back in the van now. We're gonna start it up, let the van run, and we'll spray that fluid in. Had a little bit of a moment there. I thought, what's going on here? Why have we got negative on the center? But of course, I've got it disconnected with the cleaning hose in there, that's why. Okay, now we're gonna spray the fluid in. A little bit too fast there, some of it's come out. So that's not working too well there on that, so I'm um, I've just disconnected the oxygen sensor and we're going to go in through there. And push it all the way down as far as possible. And try that again. And release. So we're going to do five second bursts. That's what it says on the instructions for this. Five second bursts. And a five second pause and then repeat again. And pause. 
and repeat. Let's just give it a little bit of a longer burst and see what happens. See she's sort of filling up there now. Oh, it'll slow off for a minute and let it let it go in. And again. Okay, we're all out, so we're going to put the oxygen sensor back on. Using a crow's foot spanner. We'll tighten that down. We're going back on the diagnostic now to particle filter initialization. Uh, let's see if we're in the right area for this actually. Screen's a bit, it's got a bit of a glare on it there, so I'll move it out down a little bit. No, it didn't look like we're in the right area there, so they'll go to basic setting. And let's go through the options here. Reset the learned values of the particle filter. Start. That's ended. Oh, live data, we, oh, we can go straight to the live data from here, can we? So, let's have a look, see what the live data is now that the fluid's been through. Let's find it if we can. Oh, there's no, there's 34 different options to choose from, so it might take a while to go through this. Let's pause it for a minute. Here we have the particle filter differential pressure, so that's what we're going to be looking at. Let's start it up. Oh, it doesn't allow me to accelerate it for some reason. Okay, now we're going to go back to the trouble codes, see if we can clear them. Now these couldn't be cleared before, but, but let's see what happens now. I think we've done the right steps, yep. Okay, now we'll start the van up again, see what happens now. Lights are gone, yeah. Now we can go back to the live data, and we can hopefully accelerate it, yeah. Just holding the revs for a minute. So we are now differential pressure there. Let's just move that to the top. See there that's dropping as we're holding the revs. So I'm just holding my foot on the accelerator basically. We're on idle at 15, full acceleration, 73. That's it, it's all finished.